Hi, I'm Heinbach. It's good to have you back. I finally got an instrument out that a few of you have been wanting for a long time. A test equipment library instrument with none other than Spitfire Audio. It is called Landfill Totems because it was built from three massive statues I built from obsolete test equipment. It also contains one of my most favorite sounds in test equipment. Pinked Brühl and Kier filters being swept. This instrument is not only suited for mushroomy ambient, you can do some pretty solid dub techno with it. In this example you just heard, I used nothing but the library and some audio thing plugins. Spitfire Audio's catchphrase is, we make instruments for composers. And you can hear that, because in scoring, oh, that is where this library excels. I'm scoring the feature length documentary Tova right now, which is about childhood in the city of Shenzhen. And I'm able to show you an exclusive clip that I scored using only the Landfill Totems instrument. When you layer the library with other instruments, beautiful things can happen. I'm working on a soundtrack to an augmented reality app. <laughs> 
And I first sat down with the Tocanti stud work. And then added in the landfill totems. One thing that I really love about making instruments is putting them in the hands of other musicians. And here are some beautiful examples. But what are all the sounds from the library based on? It's a lot of different test equipment instruments. There's the GRASS44 stimulator, an electroshock unit used in medical research. Then there's a lot of Tektronix TM500 modular rack units, which just sound beautiful. There are various Hewlett Packard pattern generators, error detectors, the saddest drone machine, beautiful vintage German vacuum tube units from Grundig, the microsound tape looper and many many more. But how was all this put together? With all the SA recordings products that we've done in the past we've always had different ways of building the sounds, the presets. I think it's always been Every single one has had a different journey. With landfill totems, it was very much a case of you sending over the five days of recordings and then us kind of eyes, our eyes just going wide and thinking of all the things we could do. But there were four of us in the team. So there's me, uh, Leo, who's the product manager. And then we've got three developers, Alex, uh, Dimi and Mark, who are all amazing in their own way. And they've all got their own individual ways of making sounds. I like to do a lot of granular processing, especially using the granulator 2 for on uh, the Max for Live. Lots of pedals, including this one right here, which we use a lot. Okay. There's one sound in particular, which is my favorite one, Beauty Oscillator. I would set up a notch EQ. So I would take a kind of segment of the recording that you've done, and then I would put an EQ on the on the track 
and then get a really, really small, tiny little notch EQ on 440, 440 hertz. And then just keep doing that and boosting it until I get like a resonant sine tone, but still have all the kind of like crackly stuff going on below and, and above. Uh, and then and then freeze and and uh, commit that to a, to a, to a new set of audio, and then put that into uh, we've got our own like sampling engine. I recorded all of these sounds at like 69 kilohertz and stuff because I know that there will be a lot of stuff that's in the inaudible range, a lot of mm. high frequency stuff. Did you discover anything up yeah. there when you looked? Definitely, yeah. Mark actually did uh, did a lot of that. He noticed it was yeah 96, and uh, he pitched the whole thing down. In fact, we opened it up in um, Isotope RX, uh, which is the spectral analyzer so that we could see what was there and then we would pitch the whole thing down and then make something out of that i love the idea of um of audio easter eggs i think just easter eggs in general like the idea of hidden sounds for me is something that excites me i think in every product i've worked on i've hidden something in kind of extremities of the audio in somewhere and i think no one will ever find it but for me i know it's there one thing that struck me when i played with the library is the mod wheel i mean mm. one note and the mod wheel and that's like a scene or a whole track even mm. when you play that it's a journey what we found with your sounds is that we had an opportunity to create this journey and it's something that we've done in the past specifically use the word journey as well it's interesting you say that just some in experiments before we would try and field recording so we would, we would walk for let's say like five minutes uh, and then we would use the not cheeky thing that I was just talking about before and then have moments in that field recording that would, it would crossfade between. So when you move the dynamic slider, you'd effectively be moving along with the field recording. So if I walked from A to B, you'd be able to move the dynamic slider so that you're basically walking from A to B and hearing the different parts of that field recording. Kind of the ethos for us is, is like, how can we just do something completely unusual and bonkers? with what we've got using such simple things as like a slider like what can you do with just crossfading and sliders uh, and i guess the answer is infinite in a way if you're interested in the genesis of this whole project you can check out the original video on the landfill totems and the beautiful video that spitfire made when they interviewed me here in my studio one thing that i didn't even mention is this is part of an album i would go into patchpoint in berlin where the statues were put up record a track and then record all the extra sounds after I was done with the track. So you can listen to the album Landfill Totems anywhere where you stream music or you can get it on vinyl. As you might have gathered by now, I'm really excited about this whole project. This is the fifth plugin in 10 months that I've released and I'm still loving it. I'm really, really enjoying the whole process of creating tools that musicians can use but i'm also my own best customer i just love having these beautiful tools available for me to work with in my digital audio workstation and come on just listening to something that i did in this very raw and very direct and some are also very stupid, heavy, nonsensical, but kind of art way. And then get that reflected by the world-class sound engineers and sound designers from Spitfire. This is... That's such a win situation for me. Landfill Totems is out now for 29 euros. And if you make music with it, please tag me. I love to hear what you do with it. If you have any more questions, do leave in the comments below or visit the subreddit. But no tech support for plugins in the comments. Please direct your questions for that directly to Spitfire Audio. And now let me play you out as I combine the library with an original landfill totem.